hi everyone welcome back to my channel um this is just some of the things that we did over halloween while the girls were off school i didn't take videos of everything we did because i kind of just wanted to be in the moment but this was when we did tea light marshmallow toasting my daughter was going on about it for ages because we did it before and she wanted to do it again and then we went to mount stewart which is a national trust property um, we've got membership there again and we went for a walk around the lake and looked for all the like wooden oils that they had hidden on a trail for kids and then there was some spooky storytelling um the girls found some wind chimes here there were just like different thing different spots where you could stop and look for different like they had little signs that were prompts of things to do and then we went to their like natural adventure playground thing and the girls were building dens and they were really organized about it like they seemed to just have an idea and ran with it because I'm really bad at den building. I've tried it a couple of times and I just sort of don't balance the um, sticks properly and it all collapses. Um, we went to the zoo, they had like half price tickets for kids this week because it's half term. Um, and it was raining when we arrived but we were actually really lucky it dried up while we were there and there was like no one there it felt like we had the place to ourselves Um, yeah like we started off in the playground there of course I think we went to playground about three times in one day and I had planned to do videos of like the whole day and of course I forgot to charge my phone and it was dying so I had to be selective about what I did a video of but we got to see the giraffes and the elephants and zebras and there was an ostrich as well and you could see them really clearly that day and there's a platform so you can kind of get up close and watch them the girls seem to be particularly entertained by the zebra peeing it's always like something to do with like toilets that captures their interest the most And I was reading the stories about the elephants that live there and the, they have like really sad backgrounds. Um, so I don't know, it's like they've basically been rescued from like circuses and things like that. But um, yeah, it was sad to hear about it, but it's good that they have a better life where they are. Um, the girls were really excited to see the meerkats. I love the way they stand. They're so funny. Um, there were monkeys as well that were just like swinging around all over the place. There were a couple of like baby ones and they were particularly hyper um, and I was saying to the girls that I wished we had this like set up in our house for whenever they have too much energy and they could just run it off instead of directing it at my furniture and like everything that I want to look nice and there's something so peaceful about watching animals like they're just I think it's seeing them like completely worry free and they're just in the moment and I love seeing the penguins swimming underwater as well Um, they're so cute and yeah these were the ones that were above the water as well like um it was impressive how quickly they can swim and some of them were leaping out of the water as they were going um and then we saw the lions up close too which i hadn't really done before and they were roaring as well after this like started off kind of lazy and then they just started roaring and roaring so we had to go back to see them because i'd never actually seen a lion doing that and I always like to see the flamingos too, like they're just really elegant and I like watching them all sort of like standing on one leg and they're, it's just weird to see birds that are real and they're pink. And then we went to Sea Park and we met my sister and went to the playground there and just like it had really brightened up by then and I just enjoyed the sea air and we collected shells on the beach as well. Um, and then the next morning we went to Rowallan which is another um, National Trust property and the girls just explored under the trees and they brought their wellies it was very muddy but they love whenever it's like that um it just felt like so autumnal there i love all the colors and the seasonal changes and they had activities set up for like it was like an autumn festival so the girls had to guess like what was in the box just by touching it um and they had a trail that we did where you go around and find different activities for kids uh, that are related to autumn and um, we stopped in the cafe and I had like the nicest pumpkin latte I've ever had. Um, and this one, the girls were using wheelbarrows to make piles of leaves. It's supposed to be to help the gardeners to tidy up. But they were basically just cheating and collecting piles that other kids had already kind of gathered and putting them in their own wheelbarrows because they couldn't be bothered. And I like the, the way they 
put these little kind of like setups around the place for kids whenever you're going for a walk because whenever I was little I used to go there all the time since I grew up near there and um, they didn't have that sort of stuff and you did come up with your own games and it was still fun but sometimes if it's a long walk for kids it kind of breaks it up if they have an activity to do along the way. And they always get really competitive about everything. This was just like a limb type thing that was set up for them to weave different coloured leaves through. And we could see that lots of kids had already added to it, but it's just really creative. I love stuff like that. Hi, so um, I just thought I would make a quick video. My kids are at school now and they're just back after the Halloween holidays. And I decided to go to a cafe to write as soon as I dropped them off. But um, yeah, it was weird because I walked in and it was completely decorated for Christmas and I felt like it skipped ahead to December. And I love Christmas, but it just seemed a bit surreal. Like, I actually would kind of like to put up the decorations now, but whenever I do it too early, I get sick of looking at them. Um, and I still have to take down our Halloween ones, actually. And I think I might do that while the kids are at school because then they can't fight me about it. Um, yeah, so I just shared some stuff that we did over the weekend. And I'll show you the paperback of my new book because I ordered a copy of it. I don't actually have any other copies of it like if I want a copy of it I have to order one as well so yeah I'm kind of happy with the way it turned out um if you want to get it I'll leave the link below um and you can get it on kindle as well um yeah and I went to write and it was kind of weird because my computer keyboard has been kind of strange like certain letters aren't working properly on it um, and it's like you have to press it like five times to get the T to type for example which actually like since that's happened I've realised how much you use the T and it's really annoying but um, I just sort of decided to, I'd forgotten about that anyway because I don't write as much whenever the kids are off school and I had taken like a week off writing um, and yeah like I went in and sat down and I started to write a new book because I'm still at that Point where I'm trying to make the idea in my head and kind of come up with the plot and everything and I always feel a bit reluctant to get started whenever I'm at that stage because it's just like it's kind of draining and it's just like settling on one thing because I'll have several ideas and it's just picking one of them can be difficult sometimes um but yeah I went to write and like half of the keys weren't working on the keyboard and I was like maybe this is a sign that I'm not supposed to write today maybe like whenever I'm not feeling like it I shouldn't because it'll probably end up just being rubbish anyway so um yeah I've had a kind of crazy morning I've been running around and I had to get some stuff for school for the girls and I've been cleaning and it's actually crazy how one week off school results in so much mess from the girls like I've been finding like peeled grapes down the back of the sofa and like sweetie wrappers just like thrown all over the living room and socks randomly dispersed everywhere and um, I was cleaning for like an hour straight there but I haven't even like begun to get on top of it all and I don't know if anyone else has like noticed this but coffee shops have got so expensive like um, I wanted to try this cinnamon swirl latte that they have on the Christmas menu now and it was like £4.25 for like a normal size cup like and the, the regular cup there isn't even that big like I ended up getting a vanilla latte and it was still like 350 or something and I just felt like is it worth it for like a small cup of coffee that I could probably make at home although I kind of feel like you're also paying for the experience of like sitting somewhere different and having like just like life around you and I definitely find it easier to work whenever I get out of the house and like I, I'm not looking at mess but I didn't get anything done today anyway so it's kind of what's relevant but um yeah like I just think that it's crazy they can charge that for coffee and uh, I actually tried a recipe that I found in a magazine I got one of those like 
spar leaflets through the door and I actually looked at it for once and it's actually a really good magazine like it has so many ideas in it of recipes and stuff and there was a gingerbread latte in it that I ended up making at home and it it tasted really nice because it was like a gingerbread latte with like the kind of synthetic flavor that you get in a lot of cafes so I'm definitely going to try that again you just put like spices in the milk and then you heat it and froth the milk and then mix it with coffee and it was quite simple to do um yeah so i need to do that more often and i think if i can get into like keeping my house a bit cleaner like i wouldn't be as against like working on it like i think a lot of the reason why i have to get out so much is because i can't stand to look at the mess and there's just clutter everywhere and um, whenever we've been going out a lot places like i think that um it's like I just haven't stopped in the house to even like look around and think about what I need to tidy and just haven't had the time to do it so it's like we're always just passing through um yeah speaking of which my kids like yesterday we were going out for the day and they insisted on going back into the house together teddies that they'd forgotten and they um left the front door lying open and my neighbours saw it thankfully but um, yeah, I just feel like everything's been a bit chaotic recently and like there's so much running around that then you start to kind of slip off with certain things like it, there's just more time to kind of consider things whenever there's downtime and you're not racing around and I think I need to kind of make an attempt to carve out parts of the week where there's nothing scheduled and we're not going to any activities and we have time to just like rest and also like I have time to clean because even though I really don't enjoy it very much like it still needs to be done and I don't want to live in like a pigsty so yeah hi to any new subscribers and thanks for subscribing and if anybody wants to see more videos please like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye